Hi, welcome to uh, manningandj.ca. This is a, a video overview and tutorial for a new product we've just implemented called Market Snapshot. Uh, this is our website. You can view it at uh, www.manningandj.ca. When you get to our website, you can click on this free Market Snapshot report, and this will take you to a page that will give you a little bit more inf information about Market Snapshot, as well as um, uh, the opportunity to sign up for a free report every month. Uh, this is a really great tool. A lot of uh, our clients have signed up for this. We're getting tremendous feedback. Uh, and the reason why is once a month you're emailed um, all the active listings, all the sold information, including sold price for the homes that are right around your home or in an area that you're looking to buy. And it's also going to give you other information like days on market, uh, as well as details about uh, each one of the houses that are actively on the market and sold. Uh, further to that, it'll give you information on market trends, and uh, we'll go into that a little bit in the, t in the tutorial. Uh, you know what, this is a really great product for people who, especially who live in townhomes, um, generally in townhomes you just don't have the opportunity to look out your window and see a sign and see what's for sale and you know in this case you'll you'll have an email to it you can find out exactly how what's happening around your your complex you'll know exactly what's for sale and you'll know exactly what it's, uh, what is sold recently uh, on top of that you'll know exactly what it's sold for so uh, when you get a chance visit our website uh, www.manyandj.ca and sign up for your free report now let's go ahead and take a look at um, uh, what exactly you see when you get that report. So uh, you'll get an email uh, notifying you that your report is ready. Uh, you'll click on that link and arrive here. Click on this and view your report. Uh, the page is made up of three different areas. You have an interactive map right here. You have a grid of all the listings down here. And then on this end, you have uh, information that you can see this, this graph as well as chart. You have information on asking and sold prices, asking versus selling price, time on market, and number of homes on the market. We'll get into all this stuff in a little bit but initially let's start off looking at the map you can see right here that the map has a few listings uh, that you can see right off the bat the ones in red are for si are the ones that have sold and the ones that are in green are the ones that are active actively for sale this right here is the location of your home so uh, and again to, to, to repeat this is information that's right around your neighborhood not just uh, you know in the market in general so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Um, number three here. Uh, if we hover over it, we're going to see that the house is uh, has sold. We'll click to view details. And we see here that it was listed at 489.9. It was on the market for 124 days and it sold for $480,000 on this date. It also is going to give you information on how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, uh, the total square footage of the how, of the home. Um, if you move a little bit further down, you get a whole bunch of other information that I think you guys can go through uh, after you've signed up and receive your own personalized report. Um, you know, this information is just not readily available to a lot of homeowners. If you go on to MLS.ca or Realtor.ca, uh, you get a lot of the active uh, listing information. You just don't know what's sold. Uh, so this tool will allow you to get that once a month in your email, um, nice and easy to view. Down here you see this grid and that uh, grid you can go through as well. It'll basically give you the, inf the same information that we looked at, uh, but you can view some of those details right off the bat just by looking at, uh, at the grid, bed, bathrooms, square footage, price, just a basic overview. So then we'll move over to this side where the graphs are, and this is kind of going to give you an understanding of where the market is trending towards. So this first one is asking and sold prices. You see in the blue, that's the highest price. And down here in this blue line is the lowest price and in the middle we have the average uh, price for homes that have sold. The, the red dots indicate uh, the value of the homes that sold. Uh, you can see number three would be on this grid and all the other ones would be on this grid. Um, so good information to have. Down here you have uh, the chart that kind of summarizes that information. You have 19 homes that have uh, sold in the past three months. You have the highest lows and average price. Uh, prices of those homes. Um, you also can notice that uh, 55 homes are actively for sale in this area uh, with also the same information of highest lows and average uh, prices for those homes. If we move further we can look at another one of these tabs called asking versus selling price. Uh, 
basic information on this is uh, you can see what the percentage of asking price received is. In this case, it's 97%. If somebody sells for X amount of dollars, they can understand that they're probably going to get about 97% of their asking price. So 17 sales uh, were, were made under asking price, two of them over and none at asking price. Uh, good information to have. Time on market. This is really good information for people who may be relocating, who have a certain deadline in the time that they have to move. So you can find out here that sold homes on average took 67 days to sell. Um, the ones that are actively for sale have been on the market for an average of 64 days. So this is going to give you again an idea of how long it's going to take for your home to sell. The number of homes on market. We can see that 19 homes uh, have sold. The average number of homes over the past three months has been 45. The number of new listings is 47. So you can receive this information to your email um, either once a month, which we recommend for most people, um, or you can have it more frequently or less frequently. Uh, that's really up to you. When you get the information, you can have it translated uh, for the last three months, the last 30 days, or the past week. So this is Market Snapshot. We encourage everyone to sign up for it because as a homeowner, even if you're not looking to sell today, you may sell uh, down the line in a year, two, or three. But at least this information is there for you to view and get an understanding of what's happening around your neighborhood. So come visit us at uh, mannyandj.ca and sign up for your free report. And if you have any questions, feel free to call us or email us at info at I hope this uh, tutorial and overview is helpful. Thank you.